Hey everybody. Today we're working with matrices in GeoGebra. GeoGebra is a great way to do simple computations with matrices, for example, for an undergraduate linear algebra class. So let's uh, input a matrix in. Let's put in the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's name it A. So we need a curly brace to let GeoGebra know that we're about to give it a matrix, and then another curly brace to let it know that we're giving it the first row. So how about 1, 2? Close up that brace, and then after a comma, let's give it the second row, 3, 4. That's your basic syntax for putting in the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. Great. So we can get the individual entries of a matrix out in the obvious way. A parenthesis 1, 2 will give me the entry in the first row and the second column of A. In this case, it's 2. Most of your fundamental um, matrix operations have commands that are very intuitive. For example, determinant of A will be negative 2, of course. 1 times 4 minus 3 times 2. Um, we can get the inverse of this matrix using the command invert. The autofill isn't as helpful there as it is in certain other cases. So there's the inverse of the matrix A. We can get the transpose. There we go. 1, 3, 2, 4, just as we would hope. One command that's a little less obvious, but is definitely worth knowing, is reduced row echelon form. And that will give us the reduced row echelon form of the matrix. In this case, we have an invertible 2 by 2 matrix, so of course we just get back the identity matrix. Let's see here. GeoGebra will also do addition, subtraction, and multiplication of matrices. So let's get another matrix in here. How about uh, 5, comma, 6, comma, 7, comma, 8 for B? And then we can do A star B. GeoGebra will default to matrix multiplication, um, doing the dot product of the first row in the first column, the first row in the second column, and so on. Um, let's see here. Frequently, we might want to multiply a matrix times a vector. There are at least two ways to do that. First of all, we can just define the vector um, as a column vector. The notation there is a little bit awkward because we have to enclose the two elements of the, ve the column vector in their own sets of braces because they each represent a separate row. So for example, let's do the column vector 2, comma, 3. And there we can see the column vector. Both 2 and 3 represent their own rows. And then we can do things like a times v, and it will evaluate um, that product in exactly the way we would hope. One other option for inputting vectors into GeoGebra is just to do it directly using the vector command. And let's call the vector w this time. w equals vector. Now we have to enter the point that the, for the head of the vector as an ordered pair. So we have to do parenthesis, parenthesis, 2, comma, 3. You can see the vector illustrated on the right. I think the reason for that somewhat awkward notation is that you can also input a vector using two points with the tail and the head. So here we have the vector w, which happens to be equal to v, and we can now do a star w directly and get the same result, 8, 18. Um, notice now, however, the result is being given to us as a row vector rather than a column vector. 